What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you the war recap into week 5. Forge from Steel taking on Spartan's Legacy and as you guys see it on your screen uh, FFS taking a huge loss the final 104 to 109 so a 5 star differential and also winning Pretty much by a landslide in total destruction, 3% is pretty big. Uh, FFS only managing 89.6% in total destruction. I'm going to tell you guys right now, we knew how hard this war was going to be. By far the hardest war that we've had an invite here in Season 3. Uh, we all know the reputation that Spartan's Legacy has and they have earned it. They have earned the respect pretty much from everybody uh, whether whether you love them or hate them everybody respects uh, Spartans legacy and they proved it this war guys uh, full disclosure they did very very well uh, where they actually won the war as we're gonna take a look at both sides of the map was the 10 v 10s uh, Spartans legacy put up a huge number they put up seven 10 v 10s this war absolutely huge uh, we did manage two 10 v 10s. Uh, one thing I will say, as far as the hit ups, we actually did better. Uh, we went six for 11 on the hit ups, our 10 v 11 hit ups. Uh, they went six for 12, so we hit just above 50%. They hit right at 50%, which is still above the league average at, at the end of the day. So both clans did very well uh, on the hit ups. And, and the dips, it was the same thing. Uh, each side had four dip fails. Um, there were no 11 v 11 attempts, uh, but both sides had four dip fails. There you go right there, going eight for 12. And then same thing on their side. Uh, they also win eight for 12. Uh, so really, really, I mean, as far as those other stats, neck and neck, but where they shined and where they got the five stars is they had five more uh, 10 v 10 triples. Uh, so that pretty much decided the war right there picking up seven 10 v 10s absolutely insane so they did very very well even taking out uh, our top uh, town hall 10 right there cotton eye joe they did manage to get him and uh yeah they yeah they definitely had a few throughout uh, the board and so yeah that was it right there yeah we went down the breakdown for those of you wondering the breakdown was also the heaviest breakdown we've ever done uh in an in a arranged war it was the breakdown was 620 i only had i believe what do the math 14 town hall nines at the bottom uh so really really crazy uh, like i said definitely the heaviest breakdown we've done our nines did decent we did have to dip uh two bases they did perform much better as far as their town hall nines went so it did provide them with quite a few scouts uh, as well. So this is just a taking a look at the map here. And I do have, like I said, we only had two 10 v 10s. I will show you guys both of those attacks. And we're gonna start off, I will show you guys a couple Town Hall 9 uh, raids. Here's the first one I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, we have, you guys know, we have Posse, AKA, actually Fobby, AKA Posse. <clears throat> Going to be taking on this Town 9, going to be attacking it, uh, treating this expo up here as if it was an Inferno Tower. Uh, really, really crazy stuff uh, from Fabi here. You're going to see he actually ends up having, as you guys are going to see, ends up getting a wall breaker fail, but treated this expo <clears throat> as if it was an Inferno Tower. So you can see he's going to try to break in right here. But you see those skellies end up aggroing onto the wall breakers instead of the king. And ends up having an epic uh, wall breaker fail right there. Uh, Wizard Tower takes out that second group just in time. Uh, but definitely wanted to get a hold of that expo. Was not able to do it. So he's just going to start the raid off as if nothing happened. So he's going to start with uh, just a few loons dropping the max lava hound coming out of the CC. And just going to be lolloing the bottom left hand side of this base. And he's going to be hasting these groups of loons in. Also has a rage and a heal. And he brings a skelly spell he's going to be using for the queen. Notice that queen is right inside that wizard tower compartment where she's trapped right there. Goes ahead and drops down those skelly spells. And most of those skellies are inside that rage as well. Uh, so nice execution right there. Still has a few more loons to deploy as you can see. Uh, going to be winding up 
at about two o'clock on this base uh, where he's going to be having that heal spell uh, so those loons can make it through that expo right there and just has a few point defenses and still has that wizard tower as well gets a really really nice split though and ends up getting this base down just in time uh, so very very nice attack I just thought it was interesting how uh, he was trying to break it end up getting the wall breaker fill still end up getting the triple but funny hitting this town hall 9 as if it was kind of like a town hall 10 uh, very very good work also posse uh, or Fabi six pack this war uh, so big shout out to him we definitely needed as many of those as we can get can't touch this aka Rio um, using his classic uh, comp right here he has been smashing uh, with this comp doing a shattered uh, shattered hobo and he also not only six pack but got a fresh six pack this war uh, so this will be the last Tahoe 9 attack uh, that I'll be showing and then we'll get into some of the heavy hitter action uh, from this war uh, so just starting off has a huge funnel. look at the size of this funnel guys definitely not being shy with those golems uh, he did obviously being a fresh he didn't know that Tesla was there he did want both golems to kind of walk in but still ends up getting really really good value as those wizards are still gonna be able to take out that archer tower and that wizard tower as you see he drops down the bowlers they have nowhere to go but inside of this base and we have the queen just working on that cannon she's going to take the jump and she's also going to be inside of the rage as well and you'll see got pretty good value uh, from those bowlers but he is bringing uh, 23 hogs along to this attack and he has two heal spells that he's going to be using for them uh, Queen is in the core of this base, or about to be in the core of this base, and he still has her ability. Uh, so things are definitely looking good uh, for CTT on this one. Uh, drops his last and final heal spell down there right at 6 o'clock. Uh, has a little problem with some of these skellies, but only a couple point de uh, defenses left. Uh, the hogs are going to end up on that mini Tesla farm over there. Uh, and, you all, and you notice one thing... Uh, that CTT always does is he always gets those that clean those cleanup troops down in time uh, to help prevent anything like a time fail. So very very nicely done, and congrats on the six pack as well. We'll go ahead and times for this as it is nothing but cleanup. But very very good job, uh, a guy we can always count on getting these Town Hall Nine six packs. Uh, even swagging a couple archers there. Very very nicely done. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and get into some of the heavy hitter action. I'm going to show you guys the two 10v10s and I'll show you one of the hit ups uh, that we did. Like I said, we did very well going 6 4 11, so I definitely want to get uh, that out to you guys. Okay, here we go. We have Masaki going to be taking out uh, number 20, Mudkey, uh, with the question marks. He's going to be doing a queen charge and he's also bringing seven bowlers along to this attack. Uh, wait till you guys see this one. Very, very nicely done. Uh, Masaki just smashing bases. Uh, just missed his first attack just by a little bit uh, from getting that 10v10 six pack. Uh, but very, uh, an amazing attack as you guys see. Uh, does have 10 wall breakers down uh, in the troop bar as well. So Queen just starting off uh, here up at the upper right hand side of the base. Breaking in uh, to where that cannon is right there. She's going to be sniping these defenses. So not only getting incredible value from the charge, taking out point defenses and splash uh, defenses, but also breaking that defense, the, that defensive ring for the Lolo portion. Uh, here comes the CC. Uh, Hound goes ahead and pops as the queen was inside of that rage, uh, just to beat that Hound a little faster and had a poison spell for it as well. So here comes the king, gonna be working on the upper left-hand side uh, of the base, just getting rid of all this trash. Also going to be taking out uh, that Tesla as well. And the Queen is still going. You'll see that uh, he had that double layer wall break uh, to take out that Expo. Going to go ahead and grab the Wizard Tower and get the enemy Queen. Goes ahead and pops the ability. Here comes the Bowlers. Notice those Bowlers under that Rage were able to take out that Inferno Tower, guys. Just got incredible value and that Wizard Tower. Just got amazing value right there, guys. Uh, had two wall breakers left in the camp after the double air wall break but those two wall breakers under rage were able to get that wall popped and that inferno tower went down in a hurry uh, with that rock skip so now he's gonna be starting his lalo uh, just bringing a cc hound uh, to this raid 
you'll see right here uh, has these loons hasting through the core and hasting over here at about eight o'clock and he is all out of spells at this point queen is still up just beating on a wall like she always does uh, but if you look at the left or excuse me if you look at the right hand side of the space there's no more splash there's no more splash left uh, just has that uh, air defense but he has such a huge clump of loons no doubt is this gonna be a three star all air targeting defenses are down at this point an amazing raid from none other than Masaki uh, doing a fantastic queen charge Lalo and switching up a little bit uh, with like, almost like a little a, a bowler kill squad uh, very very nicely done now we'll go ahead and take a look at uh, an, an incredible hit from Tadpole guys uh, I believe it was the maxed yes this so we they tripled our max town hall 10 we tripled their uh, map well not only max but the town hall 10 highest up on the map uh, before we get into the 11s tadpole number 22 taking out number seven el real also gonna be doing uh, a queen charge lalo uh like i said this is a tier five guys not uh yeah 90k yeah 90k talent 10 um what we like to refer as a tier five as far as CWL is concerned, just starting off at about 11 o'clock here, dropping down to Rage, uh, just taking out those defense, getting rid of that Wizard Tower, has one Wizard and just a few Loons over here uh, to take out that Archer Tower, just to help the Queen along on her push. Uh, wizard just making sure that Queen goes inside the base as the next closest building to her is gonna be that Expo. So that one Wizard just cuts off the path makes the queen go inside goes in drops down the second rage on the queen as he was taking fire uh from the enemy queen so takes that out goes in takes down that air defense as well can and here comes the cc uh we have been noticing uh the town hall tens on the top of the map often get dipped fresh by the town hall 11s so we're not seeing your traditional hound loon coming out of the cc something like this where it's a baby drag valk witch uh that kind of thing a you know, more squishy cc that can kill a spam attack that a lot of town hall 11s do um so very very nicely done uh with that poison slow uh slowed it down and helps the queen along in her charge here comes the king uh down here at the bottom just getting rid of uh, some defenses and trimming some trash. Lalo starting over here on the upper right hand side of the base, dropping down two haste. Uh, has a huge clump of loons uh, heading into the bottom of this base, goes in, drops down a rage, moving everything along very, very nicely done. And has a nice heal right there as he was taking quite a few dam uh, quite a bit of damage from the point and splash defense uh, down there at six o'clock. Has his last spell, that being a haste rushing this huge clump of loons huge water loons right on that inferno tower they go ahead and one shot it gets a nice split and that air sweeper is just helping push those loons to get to that archer tower even faster has all kinds of pups and minions up uh amazing execution huge shout out uh, to tadpole he has been wrecking bases lately especially doing especially doing it with the queen charge lalo very very nicely done so that right there, guys, was our two 10 v10s. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at... Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Uh, no, no, which one was it? This one right here. Okay, we have Captain Oates uh, going to be doing a uh, brimstone. Going to be doing a brimstone bowler smash, dropping down uh, the four golems on the upper left-hand side of the space, uh, dropping the queen up there right at 12 o'clock. Uh, helping trim the trash she's also under rage pretty much just two shotting all these buildings goes ahead and rages the let the bowlers that were over there on the left hand side as they're heading in he does have a quake as well jumping right in uh to the back side of that uh town hall as you see how the uh, the town hall was kind of offset trying to bait an attack on the side that's close to the town hall jacob comes in from the furthest side of the town hall they go ahead and take it out no problem as those rock skips were under rage as you guys see he's already at 65 percent on this attack uh pops the archer queen ability to get a few more buildings and ends right here guys getting 68 percent on that though that attack lasted i believe less than a minute very very nicely done 
uh, to Captain Oates there. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look. This will be our last attack of the war recap. Uh, we have Doan Su, aka NECA, hitting on his Town Hall 11. Uh, Going to be doing a Queen Charge, Mass Valk attack. We have been seeing this quite a bit. Also bringing uh, some loons to this attack as well. Uh, these hits are getting very, very interesting and very unique. Uh, trying to figure out the meta for the hit ups. Uh, what attacks to use? This attack right here, guys, is what we are seeing a lot of. Uh, where you have the Queen setting a funnel on one side. You have the king, sometimes some bowlers, or, or in this example, using some loons to set the funnel on the other side, and then bringing Valks, basically leaving a trash, uh, a trail of trash directly to the town hall. As you can see, uh, he did break in right there at about 10 o'clock, hasting in some loons, take out that archer tower. Also, they're going to go ahead and pick up that cannon as well. And uh, I don't believe, yeah, they've just fall short of getting that expo hound pops. Uh, did have a poison not only to slow the hound down and chew through its HP, uh, but also help out uh, to take care of those pups as well. Still has two rage and one jump uh, left on this attack, and he still has six more wall breakers as well. Here comes the king. Uh, notice on this charge, he's still at or he is at 25% as she is charging through the top side of this base. Goes ahead and pops the ability. Here comes the king, and he did bring CC bowlers along to this raid. Also going to drop uh, one rage uh, for this mini kill squad, as they're going to start beating on this wall and getting amazing value on those rock skips. Uh, king is also going to go ahead and take out the expo. Notice he has the jump, leading all those Valks into the town hall. Notice he also drops just a pair of Valks. Um, he drops the pair of Valks first before the main group. So those few Valks or those couple Valks can take out any traps before the main groups get there. Already at 57%, Town Hall is down, guys. And those bowlers that he brought in at 9 o'clock are still up. So just got incredible value. This is going to end at 59%. Very, very nicely done uh, from NECA on the hit-up. Like I said, we did very, very well this war on the hit-ups going 6 for 11. I want to give a huge... Huge shout out, Spartans Legacy, for putting on a show. I'm telling you guys, seven 10v10 triples. Uh, so definitely pay attention uh, to one of their war, uh, their war recap. I'm sure they're going to be releasing. Uh, look forward to that. Uh, they had some incredible attacks uh, coming from their side. Huge shout out. Also, I want to give a huge shout out, of course, to FFS. Uh, we definitely hung in there. Uh, a very, very tough war. Definitely did our best, uh, outmatched to say the least, uh, against a monster clan uh, like Spartan's Legacy. But we definitely held our own, uh, especially on the hit ups and on the dips. Like I said, both sides had uh, four dip fails. Um, but what ultimately won the war was Spartan's Legacy, guys, picking up seven 10v10 three stars. Huge props, mad respect. Um, definitely gonna be paying attention to seeing how far. Uh, SL goes in this season, but playing this way, they're going to be doing just fine. Uh, again, huge shout out to them and everybody at Fortune Steel. An awesome war. Very, very happy uh, to be a part of it. Um, we'll definitely keep pushing forward. That does bring our record now to 3 and 2 inside of the Goblin Division. And that's pretty much going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the recap and the attacks uh, featured in this recap. Uh, leave any comments, questions, or concerns down in the comment section below. Like the, ch uh, like the video if you liked it. I hope you liked the channel. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS. And I'll see you in the very next...